I'm David May. I'm a professor of computer science in the University of Bristol, um, and I'm also the director of QTech. Hi, my name is Chris Irvin, and I'm the quantum deputy director of the Quantum Technology Enterprise Centre, QTech, here at the University of Bristol. My name's Jane Garrett, and I'm the deputy director for QTech on the enterprise side, which involves developing and directing the educational programme that the fellows undertake whilst they're with us for the year. I'm Neil Kaha, and I lead on the systems engineering part of the QTech programme. So I'm Yuri Anderson, uh, I'm entrepreneur in residence here at uh, QTech. I am Claudio Marinelli, also an entrepreneur in residence here at QTech. The Quantum Technology Enterprise Centre is enabling uh, students who've already graduated to find out how to become entrepreneurs. Often the best way to take an idea out of the lab is to start up a venture, um, and this is helping them to do that. When we come to recruit our fellows, I think I'm a bit of a, a quantum crazy sniff tester to make sure that the people coming <laughs> I have a real idea that's uh, viable and, and not uh, too crazy because we're trying to take uh, what are normally physics or PhD engineering students and rapidly upskilling them in what it's like to start a business. So the first six months is quite intensive with all sorts of courses from learning about IP to learning about term sheets and finances and all, the, all of this kind of thing because the tagline is we want you investable by Easter um, or we want you in a fully funded company by the end of the year. The QTech program takes researchers with a background in quantum technology and takes them through a year-long process that gives them the skills, resources and mentorship to take ideas from their research and use them to start innovative new businesses in the quantum industry. So we're working with a cohort of fellows here, so we, we try to help them to develop their business ideas, uh, starting from some of the research they've done, and uh, try to take them on that journey of commercialization. QTech is unique in the fact that the fellows come onto the programme, they're funded to undertake the programme for the year, and that gives them time to actually develop their, their business based on their science or technology that uh, is the foundation of their research. We pay you quite nicely for to live in Bristol. And then there's all sorts of other funding available within the program to travel. Certainly when you're doing market research, we'd, we'd love you to go and talk to 100 different customers spread across the globe. You're not quite ready for just how important that network is going to be in starting your business. The most important piece of advice I think um, I would give to the students is to follow your passion. Um, pick something you're really, really interested in. That's what's going to get you up in the morning and keep you going even through the dark days and the difficult days that you will have. We aim that the fellows will leave with a business that is either providing them with revenue from sales or they have raised some venture capital, equity finance, so that they've got a sustainable business at the end of QTech. So there's always challenges and the ability to, to always try and always identify a creative solution, an unusual solution, sometimes an unorthodox one, it's what saves the day most of the time. A lot of the quantum industry doesn't exist yet, so this gives them the opportunity to help go and create it, really. The QTech program is really valuable and it's proved by the first cohort that we've had through the program. We had a 100% success rate. So everyone who entered this intensive year-long program came from academia with an idea of the sort of business that they'd like to start up. They had an idea of the sorts of problems that the market needed solutions for. And through the QTech program, they were able to launch their businesses and take products and services to market.